denial implies the use of force weapons from space to the ground the united states is going to become the space policeman can the united states air force do this mission without weapons whatever 38 madison today i think one's open we have no open job this until 1727 we are so dominant in space that i pity a country that uh, would come up against us China carried out its first anti-satellite weapons test if aimed at commercial satellites, and such an attack could bring U.S. business and industry to a halt. Space is the backbone of our national security. There is no substitute, and there is no alternative to military dominance in space. We have to move on to control space in order to protect commercial interests and investment. Big profits. This is our space tracking surveillance system. Billions of dollars on research. This is a cool business that we are in. We, 5% of the world's population in the United States, are going to deny other countries access to space. I mean, absolutely provocative. Pentagon officials say it's the first step toward eventually putting weapons into space. An Earth surrounded by an outer layer of weapons. Heavy tungsten metal rods from satellites onto the Earth. Would it really be that big a step if a projectile itself were also launched from space? There's no practical difference. And I'd venture to say that the person on the receiving end wouldn't see the distinction either. That's a reality. And if, if we don't accept that, well, we're just whistling in the dark. And we're going to be victims of our own technology. Weaponization of space has happened a long time ago. And it's foolish to think that somehow we can stuff this genie into a bottle.